even the dry bones in the graves that are beginning to shake. They know the time has come. It's a shame that some people who are still living don't understand that, especially Igbo traders in Lagos. So say to go. Nadepo is the first phase of this very deadly salvo. They will destroy your business. After that, they will take over your house. If, if, when I make work with both of them, I want you to be writing down what I'm saying. That is why Barrister will say, go and bring your pen and your paper. So that when we are speaking, you'll be seeing it live and direct. What we do here is science. When we tell you that if you mix two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen, you will get H2O, which is water. We mean it. If you try it, you will see it. And there was no notice before, before encroaching on my property, destroying it. Even if I didn't have uh, the FHR allocation, if they ask me to pay for the reclaiming of the land, I'm ready to pay. And they destroyed my property over what? Over 300 million. Yeah. My kids are homeless now. I don't know what to do next. And I still have some neighbors that, ha that are in hospital now. Some are having stroke now. Things are happening. So we are appealing for the government to help us to stop the demolition going on at Ablado. Kids are at the hospital. Please, I'm begging. I'm calling on the presidency to do something about this. Look at people's problems. Look at. Even if they say that some houses are built on the road, they are done demolishing those houses. Why entering into the street where people are living? Making children homeless. Children are homeless now. They can't even go to school. About four people are dead because of this. Out of heart attack, out of tension. People are dead. We have lost lives because of this. Just look at it. My wife is in hospital because he cannot bear it. She can't bear it. She has been hospitalized. As I am now, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. I'm very, very confused. I'm homeless like this. There is ongoing committee. They've been making calls. They've been making calls. We are on the course now. No response yet. But we are praying. You know, one thing with our people, they don't listen. This is what Mazin and the Kanu has been warning them for a long time. They don't listen. And even this guy now is even telling the Nigeria government that if they will accept something from him to be able to reform the land to him, you see, he can do it. So, <laughs> this person, you see how foolish our people is. They have not understand Nigeria. This, is, this thing is what we have been telling them for a long time. That Nigeria is not working. That Nigeria is that government is just to suppress the Biafran people. They will not understand. They are, now they are destroying their properties. Who, who gonna pay them back? Our people. Hey. Now wow. Uh, I don't know how we gonna help our people. They don't hear anything. This Biafra we are fighting is to make sure that we protect them, pro protect their properties. You see, but they can't support it. If you tell them to use that money, they used to build that house to support in Biafra freedom. They can't do it. But this money is just waste, just like that. So um, they must wake up because as things is right now, we are fighting to be free and we are fighting to protect our lives. So what everyone needs to do is to support this Biafra government in Ezai to make sure that we protect our land and protect ourselves from this criminal government. You see, that's the only thing we can do. Share this video so that those people that are still building house or trying to buy land in Lagos, we know that 
hey, Nigeria is not for them. And if they try to invest in that place, they will lose it. So anyone doing any investment in Lagos is just wasting his time because one day they will remember you and your weight and your suffering will just be gone like that. So make sure you share this video.